kazi wote tujiunge pamoja singing in jubilation this after 24 labor unions out of 34 affiliates of national organization of trade unions not to governing council voted unanimously to effect a vote of no confidence in not to chairman general asha wilson owere the petition to the registrar of labor unions of a vote of no confidence in the Chairman General Owere was upheld by the General Council. Not was being mismanaged by such a, a leader who cannot resolve an issue through a meeting by the people that are concerned. And after that, unilaterally he named himself Titula for not to and usurped the powers of everybody, including the general council, and started acting ultraviously. Kabueri County MP Stephen Magole was voted as acting chairman general, and Richard Bigirwa became acting secretary general as embattled SG Michael Werike stepped down. Moses Mauku was elected as acting treasurer general to be deputized by Barbara Bandaru until a delegates conference is held in December 2023. But Oweri dismissed the process as illegal and criminal, as he says it contravenes an earlier court order. Now they have made our work very busy, and not even going to court. They are already, we are already in court. Okay. They are the ones who have actually broken the law. So they are supposed to be arrested in the of court. For the new leaders, this marks a new beginning. But Oweri says the faction against him is fueled by politics, and some leaders are trying to avoid accountability, a war of words. There is also a court summon to, for Werike, who is uh, running away from accountability. You know, he has stolen a lot of money. So he's trying now to clear his way. I think by doing that, it can protect him. But now we are going for him properly. A court order for an independent organization doesn't work. Court order is these ones. They just remove you. You don't need to look for a judge to decide who should be removed. These are the people who remove you. So, my brother, where? Go with your court order. Where you got it from? NOTU represents just over a million workers from across the country who rarely speak with one voice despite the many labor challenges in the country. Edward Muhumza, NTV.